Hi, I'm John Barnes, and you're watching Redmen TV. Hello, welcome to Redmen TV. It is the Stat Attack in association with Bev Victor. I am here. I am fully loaded with stats. I'm going to bring you everything you need to know. Head of Liverpool taking on West Ham United at the Berlin Ground in the early kickoff on the 2nd of January. Let's dip straight into the form guide then. The Hammers just eight points from a possible 18. That was five draws followed up by a 2-1 win over Southampton in their last game out. Most importantly for Liverpool, though, three of those games, nil-nil draws. The Mighty Reds, on the other hand, we've taken a massive, a massive 10 points from 18 after our two back-to-back -back wins against Leicester City and Sunderland. The Danger Men, we all know Christian Benteke after his two back-to-back -back goals in those aforementioned back-to-back -back wins is our top goal scorer, but what about West Ham United? It's that man, Dimitri Payet. Yes, that man who, if rumours are to believe, may well be back in contention for the, for the game. Yeah, excited. Uh, he's their top goal scorer on five, followed by Manuel Lanzini on four. This is Premier League goals, of course. And then in terms of assist, Payet's there as well. You've got Alan Cresswell on three and Dimitri Payet on three as well. OK, let's look at the past meetings then. Yeah, we all know. We all remember they absolutely smashed us off the park earlier this season. 3-0. Yeah, goals from Manuel Lanzini, Mark Noble, who was also sent off in that game, and Diafra Sacco as well. Last season at Upton Park, yeah, we didn't win that game. Uh, we lost by three goals to one. But don't worry, going back to 2014, we did win there. Yes, we did. We won 2-1 that time. Steven Gerrard with two pens to see us over the line. Little fact for you, though, something we haven't done on these shows before. Liverpool's biggest ever win at the Berlin Upton Park was 5-1, all the way back in September of 1965. Yes, everyone remember that one? Of course they do. Roger Hunt got a hat trick? Thought so. Yeah, knew you'd remember that one. There you go. Um, that's everything you need to know. What do you want to know from me now? Score prediction? Let's give a score prediction. I think Liverpool are going to win this one by a single goal to nil. West Ham not got loads of goals in them. In fact, they've only scored more than one uh, once in the last six games, and that was the last game against Southampton. So you can say maybe there's four. Coming into form, yes, they've got some of their better players coming back in. And look, Andy Carroll, I'm always fearful of big AC because he's that kind of guy. He's got a good record against us in the past, particularly from his Newcastle days. Um, so, look, they could well do something against us, but I just want to see Liverpool continue what we've done in the last couple of games. It doesn't need to be sensational. It doesn't need to be pretty, but it needs to be three points. 1-0 to the mighty Reds. OK, there you go. Go and check out, though. We're not done. Go and check out the Weekender Show over on the Beth Victor YouTube channel. My man, the legend, Christopher Pajak, is over there representing Redmen TV. He's taking on the likes of Robbie from Arsenal Fan TV and co, giving him all his predictions and thoughts ahead of this weekend. It's brilliant. Go and check it out. Look, it's Chris's face. Who doesn't want to see more of Chris Pajak's face? Everyone wants to see more of Chris, and you can go and do it over on their YouTube channel. Go and check it out. Give this video a thumbs up. Thoughts in the comments below. And Chris... We'll see it over there. I think the easy out is to pick Giroud again, but when you actually look at the two sides, I think Newcastle played with such a high line that Walcott might get him behind and get himself a little goal there. I've gone for Harry Kane against um, Everton for Spurs. I think you know he's on fire at the moment. I think he's got 11 Premier League goals already this season. 